bright and early this morning, guys. Up here in the mountains. God, I am freaking exhausted. 5.38 in the morning. Got a little hike in here. Start loading up all the gear. Yes, guys. I am carrying spinning gear this time around. Kill me. I know, but hey. Stuff's actually kind of fun. Man, I got my fly rod too. Everything for this trip here. Well, always seem to work out this way, guys. Pack way too much stuff. Forget the important stuff like uh, a jacket and, and pants to actually uh, keep warm in this morning. But, man, guess the hike will just keep me warm. So, Whew, God, it's cold though. It's like 40 out here. Shivering. <sighs> and to top it all off, my waders are still freaking wet on the inside out, baby. Look at those laces. Froze. Man, guys, you think I come real prepared? Absolutely not. goods that is the goods right there oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah man good morning huh my god ladies welcome back to another firefly fishing episode we decided to hike in a couple miles we're about three miles deep right now fishing a little stream behind us supposedly the bull trout will come up and spawn in these creeks as well as just kind of feed in these creeks so we're going to be fishing these creeks. I'm going to be targeting bull trout personally. Noah, he's going to be targeting probably mostly cutthroat, but you never know. Might catch a bully, but we're going to chow down on breakfast here. He's got his oatmeal. I got my host's donuts. I probably should have brought something healthier, but hey, they're going to do the trick. So let's get out there. All right, guys. Camp's been packed back up, had breakfast. So we got both of our rods rigged up. I'll show you what's going on, but... God, my body's almost in shock, you know, fishing a pretty avidly, um, you know, 
urban streams at you know like a hundred degrees and climbing up here in the mountains man it's like 40 i did not come prepared i'm, I'm once again didn't come prepared with the clothes freaking freezing you can see my freaking breath like okay you can't see it you can't see it right now <laughs> 10 minutes ago you could however this is what we got going on at the moment i am going to start spinner fishing while noah fly fishes if he ends up getting on one we're going to change i'll change on the fly rod but i just have a little rapala here countdown and my shakespeare i mean excuse shakespeare i have my saint croix here with my uh, bass pro reel and here noah has a woolly bugger start off with and he's got both his cabela's rod reel so that's how we're gonna start guys um just right right there so we are gonna get today started off um, once again, targeting bowls, but if he gets on the cutties, I'm gonna be fishing for cutties too, so all right guys meet you on the river The fish rolled. It was a big bowl. I poked him though. I know what. I'm. This is. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I knew that was a fish, bro. You can see him swimming. Okay. So look right where my rod tip's pointing. Do you have your glasses? You can't. The glasses don't help. Let me see. No, it's too dark. Look right where my rod's pointing right there. Right when the current slows down, you'll see something gray. Right. Just keep looking right there. Okay. Oh yeah. You see that? I just saw that. Yeah. He's, oh my, he's huge. Dude, when the current slows down, you can really see him. 100%. He rolled, dude, when I hooked into him. Not, didn't, I barely hooked into him. Shut up. Big bull, big bull, big bull. I finally got it where I wanted it to. I'm like, dude, he's waiting for a Big bull. Good, good. I told you it was a fish, man. Is, am I recording? Yeah. Good stuff, bro. Guys, I hooked into this fish right here. Noah finally hooked up on him. I saw him. We've been talking about it. He is massive, Noah. That's that's fine. Whatever you do, don't let him go down this. This is going to be really hard to net him is the thing, bro, right here. He's big, dude. I'm gonna try. I don't know if splashing the net here, if he comes this way, will scare him back up. Man, this net drop is stressful, dude. Oh, you got it, man. You're good. This would be the best spot to get him right there. Where? Oh, dude, you're letting him go, man. You're letting him go. Good job. Good work, bro. Chase that fish. Chase that fish. Chase that thing. We will land this fish. Keep going, though. Keep going. Keep up that slack. Is he off? You're gonna have to put some hurting on him, bro. Where's he at? Underneath the tree, climbs under the brush. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Where's he at? Go, you gotta keep going. You gotta get low. All right, this is, you might stay in the pool, move around. Literally get underneath that tree, he's just staying still.
This current's quick, bro. Use heads, not up, Noah. And if I hit your line. Guide off. Hi? Guide is There he goes. Okay, get under there. He's pinned good. Get low. Ah. Oh, I went way too low. Frick. Ah. I, that dude, if you think I'm gonna net him there, you're crazy. I can try, you want me to try? I see what you're snagged on. You ready? Ah. Yeah. Uh. He broke me. Alrighty guys, right before this crazy fight with this massive bull trot, I will be doing a giveaway to you guys. All you have to do is subscribe, share to one or multiple of your friends. Every share is one entry and comment when done. I'll be giving them away $50 worth of either spinning gear or fly gear to two separate winners. My favorite lures back to you guys. And um, if we surpass 500 subscribers, this giveaway is on. If we don't surpass 500, which is only a 50 away, so it shouldn't be too hard. The giveaway is off. Anyways, guys, just wanted to give back to you guys. Here we go. No way. No way. Oh, my God. No. Holy sh Oh, my God. The thing's massive. He's swimming up. He's swimming up. Good. Holy crap, guys. Hooked into a bull. Hooked in the ice bowl, eight pound test. Come on, baby. Oh dear God, we got this fish. We're gonna get him. Tire him out. Just like that, guys, we knew a fish was gonna be out of here. Look at that rod. Look at that rod, dude. Oh, he's just bulldogging. I think I got a pinned all right. Here we go. He's coming up, man. He's coming up. Oh! Dude! Oh! Oh! Holy guys! Oh! Noah! Yeah, dude! Guys! Oh my god! He just spit That's it. That's like a 10-pounder. He just spit it. Oh my god, he spit it. Oh my god, put your hand over him. He can flop out of here. Oh my gosh, we gotta, we gotta almost get him on. Oh, he's a bull. We have to keep him in the water, guys. Strict rules on these things. Oh my God. Okay, you can pull him out of here just to get the hook out. No, I'm gonna keep him here. You get the hook out. Okay. Oh my God, I'm shaking, guys. We're gonna figure everything out here. I'm gonna stop the GoPro for a second. We gotta get a picture. All right, All right guys. What can you say? What can you say in a situation like this? I mean, look at this bull. Absolutely massive. Oh my gosh. Look at that boy. Guys, we're gonna release him. We've taken like four photos, that's it. We don't wanna keep this fish out for too long. It, it's just so old. I, I want him to live forever. I mean, and just get huge. We're gonna get a recover on this fish, guys. Such an old, old buck. I mean, in freaking incredible. Just a massive holy look at that fish. Oh. Alright guys. Oh. Oh. Just like that. There he goes guys. Kicked off downstream. 
he just swam right back into the current. Give me some, man. <laughs> oh my God, guys, I am, I'm good. I'm done for the day, you know? Like, holy smokes. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna, we're gonna keep an eye on this fish. I mean, you can't miss them. Um, and maybe another one. So, thanks so much for staying tuned in this episode, guys. It means a whole ton. This stuff, Noah keeps me motivated to do these videos. You guys keep me motivated with your comments, all your love and support. Um, you get to come out here and experience things like that, so. I'm happy. I know, I, I tried. I got in it here. Look at that, I'm in it. Oh, hey. Dude, it's a cutty. Looks like it. Guys, as you can see, we got another victim, and he is lively. We got him off the hook already, but look at that bully. My GoPro was dead. Look at that bully, guys. I mean, he is, we, we've been keeping him in the water the whole time, just like that last guy, but he's a little younger, of course. But, I mean, still, look at that fish. Look at the colors on him. Tank. Guys, I know what will pan behind you. I threw it in shallow water across the creek by the tree, reeling it in, gave it a pop, and he just took it, and I, I pinned him down. And I stopped him before he went downstream. Um, so yeah, guys, it is, uh, this fish is absolutely beautiful. He is lively. We're gonna get a release on him, underwater release real quick. So we're gonna get the GoPro, and let me just look at that guy. These fish are just awesome, guys. Just deadly. Let's get the GoPro out. All right, guys, just caught that bully there. As you can see from the pan that Noah took, that's where I caught him. I tossed it right into the branches there, and that first pop behind that rock, he hit, and I had to put the hold on him because he went straight, straight downhill. Luckily, I stopped him in time, um, but let's see if there's more fish over here. It was right there. Oh my God, oh my God. Did you guys see that? That fish just chased that so hard. Oh yeah, big fish. Big, 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 big. Oh no, oh no. He's still on bro. I feel him down there! You can net him down there! He's flopping right there! Guys, this is insane! You see him? No! How big? Ah, oh, guys. There was nothing I could do there. I tried to stop him. He went down. I'm surprised I kept him on for so long, to be honest with you. How big, Noah? As big. Just as big as that first fish, guys. As big. Just as big. Honestly, it looked kind of bigger, but you know, what can you do? Pretty upset. I'm happy I got one, so can't be too mad. And I'm gonna I'm gonna retie. Hopefully that fish will be alright. He should be fine. He was just hooked right in the corner of his mouth, so. Ah, fingers crossed, guys. Crazy. A little butt hurt after that, guys. I got a lure. It's a little smaller is the only problem. That one had another fish. Do ya? <gasps> He's right there. Yeah. He can't, he can't, kept chasing it even after pulling out of the water. See this I one? Saw, See him? You did. 
Look at that, guys. Another, another bull. Nothing big. Oh, it's a cuddy, I think. Oh, it's a cuddy. Cuddy, man. Nice. No kidding. Look at that, guys. First cuddy of the First cuddy of the day. Oh, that's a beautiful cut. It is. Not huge, man. He he kind of tangled himself <laughs> up, guys. All right, guys. Not a big cuddy by any means, but he is tall. I mean, look at how tall he stands. Beautiful fish. Undercut on him. Just like this. Off he goes. First cuddy today. We've caught red bands. We've caught bulls. Now landed the cuddy. Noah's caught a white fish. I'm still a little upset, guys. Noah saw it. He said it was like 27, 28 inches. My first bull, by the way, we measured 25 inches. Huge for 25. Noah, Noah claims that one was bigger. Um, hopefully, it'll be all right. We marked the spot, so we might be able to come back and get him one of these days. I don't know how we traveled up this in the first place. It's pretty, pretty crazy how these fish do their, do their thing, but we're going to keep fishing see what happens. All righty, guys. Me and Noah just found a place to pull over here. Actually, I realized I can flip the... Um, so we got all of our gear out. You know, we were going to start boiling up some macaroni. And um, I think Noah has, yeah, mac and cheese as well here. But I actually have a sandwich as well and chips. So we're just going to pull up the sandwich and chips. Save the, the, the mac for dinner. But repack all up and... Yeah, guys. Fishing so far has been excellent. Anything to say, bro? You know? Three and a half hours and how many fish? Like yeah. One oh. giant bull trout and probably six others? Yeah. Yep. Hooked another giant bull trout? Pretty good day. Yeah. About two big bulls, guys. One landed for sure. I hope... I know I recorded the whole thing, which I'm definitely going to put in there, but I hope it had footage of that bull trout because it was similar size. Very similar size. Uh, so, yeah, just beautiful out here, guys. Ignoring all the chaos in the world. Nice place, so... We're going to lay down munch on some grub here and head back at it. There you go, buddy. All right, guys. Noah just hooked up here. You're on that other side over here. He's hard stuck on using the fly rod and sure enough, man, paid off, so... Where do you want me, Noah? Right side. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. Head up. Head up. Woo! Nice, bully man. That's good. Under, I finally got it straight underneath. Oh. All right, guys. Check this bad boy out. What do you think? About a 14 inch, Noah? Yeah, I'd say so. About so, huh? How'd you catch this bad boy? Oh, that log that's suspended over the water. I finally, I was just trying that left side close to the bank, and then I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try that right side. First drift through it, boom, he hit it right at the end of that log. Sure enough, man. And uh, he went for the leech instead of the woolly bugger. Nice. Check that out. Oh, man. Yeah. Slimy fish. Slimy. Look at that. Good work, bro. Heck yeah, man. Can't go wrong. Beautiful um, fish. I mean, just look at the look at the colors on that fish, guys. All right. Wow. See you later. Hey. There it is, man. Woo. Good release, bro. Woo. Nice, man. <laughs> Landing the bully. New PB bully. New <laughs> PB bully, baby. That's right, bro. I've caught three in my life and all have been today. <laughs> hey, man. That's all I like to hear. Good work, man. All right, guys. We still got more water to fish here. This is just crazy. Well guys, back we are at the truck, kind of skipped from fishing, walking out, um, made it back to the truck. We ended up doing 9.9 .9 miles today according to Onyx, so 
pretty much 10 miles, absolutely exhausting. So um, in all honesty, we're gonna end the fishing here. If you guys wanna stay and watch the catch and cook, it's gonna be coming right after us. We're actually gonna go home to um, cook. It's gonna be pan fry, some cool ingredients we're gonna throw in there. So stay tuned if you are interested in a catch and cook. Um, but that's gonna be right after this. At the moment, I am wrapping up the fishing, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed um, the fishing today. I have a bug literally swarming in my ear. It's terrible. And, um, and yeah, it, it was just outstanding fishing, guys. I mean, we could not have asked for better. It was just awesome. Um, Noah did amazing research looking into this place and turned out really good. We're gonna boil up some mac and cheese here first and head home and cook up late night trout as a snack, so. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button, comment. You guys rock. Tight lines. Peace out. All right, guys, final product whipped up right there. Very, very simple cook. We got some sriracha and onion seasoning as well as salt. It's getting to be around almost 10 o'clock, guys. So we, we got back late and we, we still wanted to catch up, cook up this fish, didn't want it to go to waste. Um, so we're gonna both eat this now and uh, do a quick review, guys. But uh, yeah, this is the final product. All right guys, not gonna lie, just filmed this a second ago, but I started laughing so hard because it's so freaking spicy. I couldn't finish talking. So anyways, that sriracha is kicking in. I don't do, I don't do spicy too well, but cheers. Nice. Mmm. Delicious, guys. Can't beat it, man. Go ahead and talk while I have a mouthful. Thanks for watching another Firefly Fishing episode. It was a good one, and hopefully uh, we'll catch a bigger fish, but knowing Grant's luck, probably not. But hit that subscribe button, and wait till the next one. He said it all there, folks. Take care. Peace out.